Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 30th of May 2024. I hope you are keeping well and enjoying yourself. I had I woke up so many times in the night but I did manage to get back to sleep again. Very strange fitful sleep last night. I have no idea why. Um, I hope you had better sleep than me anyway. When I was a boy living in London... Uh, I do remember both my parents used the local library a lot uh, for incredibly different reading material. Their <laughs> reading material is incredibly so different. You couldn't imagine two people's reading matter to be in to be so different. But anyway, they both used it, and uh, I loved the library. Actually, I thought it was great. Um, and as I said, uh, public services in the UK in those days were very good. I have no idea what the libraries are like at the moment. Uh, I hope they're still good. I've heard that you can get things other than books, uh, but I'm out of date on that. I have no idea what it, what it really means anymore. I heard at one point you could get CDs. Now, obviously, we don't have CDs are past technology now, I guess, so I don't suppose there's, that kind of thing is still available, but I have no idea what services they offer, but I hope they are still good. Um, and uh, there were certainly times when I had to take book, take back overdue books, um, more from my mum than from my dad, who had uh, forgotten to uh, return books. And uh, I think to avoid the embarrassment of paying a fine, I used to take them back for her uh, as a young child. When young children actually walked around kind of free, you know, without a... Uh, uh, needing to have a parent with them at all times. Uh, there were the, the children's library was excellent anyway, but, but I used to borrow books from the adult library too. And uh, I took back book, books for for my mum uh, and paid the the small fine, the pennies that were the fines in those days. I have no idea if that's still true or not. But I was trying to imagine that the amount of fine that would be necessary uh, on a book. That was due to go back in 1939 and has just been returned to a library in Finland. Uh, it was a book written by Arthur Conan Doyle and was uh, due back in December 1939. Um, <laughs> uh, now, when you take library books back, sometimes as a matter of embarrassment, you might offer an excuse. You know, I would just say, oh, sorry, my mum forgot. Or, <laughs> you know, because it felt like you are depriving somebody else of that book. Um, so that's why, you know, returning library books late se feels like a social faux pas. I mean, it's, you know, it's not something we should really uh, ever do purposefully. And um, anyway, uh, uh, <laughs> 1939. Um, so uh, apparently what uh, in, uh, the, re the most likely explanation, the likeliest explanation is that um, the Soviet Union v invaded Finland in November of that year. And so probably there were other more important things on the person's mind than taking back library books. So we forgive them. Uh, but if you've been waiting for 80 odd years to uh, get your copy of Refugees by C Conan Doyle, um, now's your chance rush to the finland library to the library to, the, to the, that particular library where the book has now been returned okay let's go on with the game of sudoku shall we this is a uh, guardian's first hard level game of the week it's a thursday remember thursday and friday they give their hard, hard level puzzles so let's start with a one in this square here for the reason i just showed you and let's go up this side this right hand flank with nines blocking up and a nine blocking across there, giving me a nine in this square, like so. Let's do these kind of odd ones that are sticking out. We've got threes blocking across here. That's going to put a three into that square. We've got four going across here and across there and down. And four going down and down and deeper and down, as status quo might have said. And four across here and across here, and there's the four. I think we've had it with the fours for the moment. We have nine blocking across here, which puts nine into one of those squares. Blocking up, blocking down, blocking across. Hey, you're a nine. And 
we have eight across here and there and up there that's another one of those ones sticking out from the beginning I think seven blocks down here and that puts seven into one of those two squares blocking up seven going up that way seven across there so there's a seven and seven this way that way and up from here seven down up and across So I think I've got a pair down here, seven and eight blocking down, seven and eight blocking across. So that's a pair of seven and eight. Uh, so sevens then across there and down there. That puts seven into that square. And the eights will be there and there. Okay, right, if this is uh, this is seven and eight, these will be one, two, nine. Um, two's there, one's there, nine's no idea just yet. Two blocking this square and this square. So in that column, there's a two. Two across here, across there. Sixes are a number that are in very short supply. Yeah, that's the only one uh, on the on the whole grid at the moment. Uh, it would help if we could find a, a few more. Um, I think I might just wander through the digits just to see if I can spot anything that hasn't been obvious. Yeah, there's one. Threes. Uh, 
Okay, so now we have eight blocking down here and eight up there. That will put eight into that square, and that will give us a six over. Oh, sorry, no, six and seven over here. Six blocking up there. There's the six. In fact, there's the seven. So now we get another six. The six is blocking up there, and we feel slightly freer uh, because of the uh, extra sixes gained. Because I think they were um, making life quite difficult. Still not out of the woods yet, but slightly improved, I, I think. We have five blocking this square, five blocking this square, so in this column there's a five. Um, I was going through the numbers, wasn't I? I think I'm going to start again because I don't have any completed digits yet. Seven looks like I should be able to finish it. Looks like there's only one more. Yes, there's one more left. Okay. Seven down there. Ah, so <coughs> there's a seven. Now I put seven and eight in those squares, did I not? Yes, we've got eight blocking across and eight down there. So there we go. There's an eight. So seven is finished. And now we're going to get an extra eight as well. And eight across there and eight down there. And eight down here, down there, and across and across completes digit eight. Hmm. <laughs> it's still, it's still, it's still holding a trick up its sleeve. This is a good game from the Guardian, I think. Ah, this block up here. I believe we're missing one, two, three, six. Am I right? One, two, three, six. I think so. And one. 
six and three all attack that square so that is a two and it's still not enough to finish the game Hmm. Ah, oh, yes it is. Because we've got two blocking down here and down here. So in the bottom row, there's a two. And now we're going to get the six there. And then the six blocking up there, we'll put six there. And six across there will give us six in that square. And six up there will give us six there. And six down here and down here will give us six there. And six blocking up here and across there will give us the final digits. So it's the annoying sixes, which have been really uh, the bane of this particular um, Sudoku puzzle, are out of the way, and everything else must be easy from this point onwards. Five across. There's our five. This is a one. Um, down here, we still need a one for this column. And uh, I'm sure everything else is going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, let's just see. I think we can go through the digits now. Let's see with the ones. Do we know anything more? Uh, not quite. The twos. What else? Yes, we have two across here and there. And with threes. Not quite yet. Four up here and across there, we'll put four into that square. Four across here and across there. And four going up will give us four in that square. That's finished. What do we know about fives? Five blocking up here, we'll put five in that square. That means that we have five and nine up there because we've got five and nine in those columns. This is going to be a three. And then the three blocking across here and up there will give us three there three back that way this is a three this is a one one is down here and five blocking this square so there's the five there's the nine nine blocking down here there's the nine this is a one uh one more number to get here which is a nine and nine blocks across there giving us nine in this square missing number here is a two two across there is two one finishes the game so a really nice game there from the guardian just nice and not too killingly taxing but <laughs> just a nice level of uh, playability i'll see you around bye bye